Hi, I'm Daniel Overton from CR Kennedy, the Leica Geosystems distributor here in Australia. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the hardware and software settings before we start reusing Register 360. Now, before we start importing or creating any new projects, the first thing we want to do is look at our storage. So, first we want to click the little pancake button in the top left hand corner here. And then we select the tab for storage. Now at the moment, the storage folders and archive and temp folders are buried deep within the file structure. But we want to make this nice and clean and easy to find later on. So, I'm going to create a new folder in my root directory called Register360. In that folder, I'm going to create a folder called Temp, Archive and Projects. Now, we just go back to our storage settings and browse to those folders. Now, as a final checkoff, it's best to remove the original project directory just to save any confusion. Now, the next thing we want to do also is check our settings. Now, there's five different tabs in here for settings. I'm not going to go through them all one by one, but it'd be a good idea to pause the video and copy my settings. All these settings can be changed at a later date, but they're a good starting point for any new user. Now, one last thing to look at before we get going, and this is a frequently asked question, is potential display issues. Now, if you have some problems with the display that look a little bit like this, you're going to need to look at your graphics drivers and settings. So in my case, I know my graphics drivers are all up to date. So I want to make sure that Register360 is using my high performance card and not auto select. Also, a common problem, if your computer is on low power or battery saving mode, it might default back to the lower powered graphics card. Now that we've got Register360 all set up, license installed, we're ready to start importing projects.